everybody, it's Joey here, aka Mystic House Flows, and I'm here to teach you a beginner group tutorial today. It's called the Ghosting Behind the Back Isolation, and it looks like this. So I'm doing this with a pretty small hoop. You can do this with many, many different size hoops. Um, I just like these minis. I think they're fun and agile. Um, but one thing to notice before I start to break down what is happening with the hands is that this move involves um, a turn. And the turn is going to be the thing that actually you know, brings the hoop in front of the body and then behind it again in a continuous way. So without the hoop even involved, it looks like this. So that's the step. And then the other thing that's helpful to understand is the, the terminology ghosting Ghosting is when one hand is just kind of like sliding down the hoop, it's not gripped, it's just free floating, it's kind of got that, that touch but it's not gripped. The other hand is the gripped hand that does the, the movement and maneuvering of the hoop. So to get into this, I'm going to start by swinging my right hand down behind my back. And my left hand is going to come meet it here at the center. Um, the first part, my left hand is going to be doing the ghosting, so it's not going to be like attached to the hoop. It's going to be nice sliding. And then my my right hand is going to be the one doing the pushing. So when it comes in, it grips. And now, as I start to turn, my right hand is the one pushing it in front of my body. My left hand is ghosting. You can actually see, and it'll ghost all the way out, and then meet back behind you. When it meets behind you again, the rolls of the hands are going to switch. So now your left hand is going to be what's gripping and your right hand is going to be what's what's ghosting so once that transfer happens now my left hand is gripping it my right hand is ghosting you can turn again switch from my you know, my right hand is gripping and my left hand is ghosting gets behind me. Now my left hand is gripping and my right hand is ghosting. Switch. Switch. find that the key to getting that um, to, to go from being the back wall plane to the front wall plane is that turn. The turn you make with it is really, really what allows you to um, get it on that nice linear um, kind of, um, you know, dimension. It helps a lot if you have like a piece of tape that you put on the floor um, or just like draw a line in the dirt. And that way, you know, you have like a basic line and form. So, you can even pop out and then pop back in. Um, way 
ways to like troubleshoot this is to just make sure that um, you have one hand that's like ghosting it at all times. Usually, especially when we're learning new moves, our tendency is to want to grip the hoop really tightly. So um, yeah, if you feel like you're getting stuck, try you know making that extra step, that turn in there, um, and then just try to loosen up your hands. Um, and yeah, just remember that it's a matter of getting passed back and forth, and you're trying to keep it kind of on a uh, you know vertical vertical back plane. I'll do it a little bit more real slowly for you to watch a couple more times. So this is my right hand and my left hand is ghosting it in front of me as I turn. Now it's behind me. Now my left hand is gripping and my right hand is ghosting. And I'm pushing the hoop up. Now it's behind me again. So I'm going to do it in this direction for you to see a little bit. And I can do it from the side a little bit if that angle is helpful. So that's the move. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm definitely down to show you in person if something like didn't didn't quite sink in. Um, I'm always available for classes. If you live local, love to meet up and teach you. Um, besides that, I have my in-person hoop classes um, here at the Phoenix Art Yard. The next one is um, August 25th. Beginner hoop dance is from 4 to 6 p.m. And then fire safety is from 6 to 7 p.m. And then we have our open flow jam for anybody after that. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if it helped you and if you would like to see more moves in this isolation series. These are really juicy, fun tricks to learn. So good luck and happy hooping. I'll see you soon. Peace.